Girl, close your eyes. Let that rhythm get in to you. Don't try to fight it. There ain't nothing that you can do. Relax your mind. Lay back and groove in mind. You gotta feel that heat. And we can ride the boogie. I want to rock with you. Dance you into the sunlight. All night we can rock the night away. Out on the floor, there ain't nobody there but us. Girl, when you dance, there's a magic that must be love. Just take it slow, cause we've got so far to go. Oh, my bad. Anyways, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know me, I'm Ethan. For those of you who do know me, I am Michael Jackson. Pfft, I wish. Maybe not I wish, but I wish I had the, uh, the same vocal prowess and maybe a little bit of that dancing ability too. I mean, I feel as though I'm a pretty good moonwalker, but to say if I'm anywhere near Michael's level, I don't know. <clears throat> but welcome to today's video. Um, I know I started things off a little different than normal. Caught you by surprise, didn't I? I hope I sounded good, because if not, uh, that's going to be really embarrassing to have to post. But that's the whole point of these, that they're unedited, unfiltered, uncut, you know, pretty much raw. And so you guys are going to get that. And uh, hopefully I don't sound like garbage. But that's why I'm drinking tea, because, you know, help with the voice a little bit. As you can tell, it probably sounds a little rough right now. Anyways, getting straight into it. Um, into it, TurboTax? Sorry, I know. I, I, I'm starting to get the idea that I might have ADHD, but that's neither here nor there. <clears throat> Today, we're going to get a little bit more into the topic of self-care. Um, I think I might have touched on it before, but today I wanted to get a little bit more into it. Because I feel as though it's a topic that a, a lot of people like to try to address, but no one ever really seems to have a firm enough grasp on the concepts that go into providing yourself with self-care. Um, and so it kind of leaves a lot of things kind of open-ended and weird and not very productive. So, <clears throat> you know, obviously for everyone, self-care is going to look a little different. But I'd like to just kind of generally go over the things that I believe uh, everyone needs to do kind of uh, in terms of self-care in order to, you know, allow yourself to continue to live your best, happiest, healthiest life. Um, because obviously health manifests itself in various different forms. Uh, it's not all just physical, right? So I also believe that self-care even if you're focusing in a more physical sense can carry over into a more mental or emotional state um you know there's a reason why i feel as though uh people benefit greatly mentally and emotionally from participating in things that are very physical when they're going through a rough time uh, I think it's a part of the reason why, and you know, pardon my language, pardon me for being frank, but it's a part of the reason why there are a lot of people who become sex addicts is because you're experiencing a more physical form of release. Now, do I agree with using intercourse as a form of release from negative emotions? 
Not necessarily, because I do believe there are better, healthier options in order to accomplish that goal than intercourse, especially because, you know, sometimes that's not the safest route either. Um, it can it can come with a lot of potential risks that I think people don't really uh, people aren't really as weary of as they maybe should be, you know, uh, especially in places that are very, very promiscuous, for lack of a better word, places that have a tendency to attract the kinds of people that would maybe pass something on either without knowing about it or while knowing about it but not caring about it. Um, so I think it's best to maybe participate in different forms of physical activity that can provide you with that same release or a similar release um, if not actually that physical activity. Um, that's a big part of the reason why I got into weight training and skateboarding and playing sports and, you know, just a lot of physical activity. I'll be honest, I just am a very physical person, um, which is why I need to do so many different forms of physical activity in order to keep myself level-headed, I guess. Um, I'm, a, I'm just a very physical person. I love running. I love climbing. I love jumping. You know, I don't want to say I love running. I take that back because I'll be honest, I'm not much of a runner. I like sprinting. Short quick bursts but if you ask me to do like a long endurance run i mean i'll do it i'm not gonna be happy about it though i prefer to just get out a quick sprint take a break maybe bust out another quick sprint yeah i don't see a purpose in running for like two or three hours why are you running for that long <laughs> put it away right put it away we, we have better stuff to do with our time, or at least I feel like I do. I don't know. And a lot of people who, like me, are part of the working class may feel that way as well, which is why I usually recommend, given the fact that I am a certified personal trainer, I'd usually recommend shorter forms of cardio or workouts that you can fit into your day. You know, uh, it's, it's a lot harder to make time for going for like a long endurance run or things of that nature when you know you got to be at work in like an hour right <clears throat> um something that always worked for me when i did have those little crunches of time i would usually i'm not even kidding i just knock out push-ups crunches maybe some uh body weight squats pull-ups call it a day you don't need to do that much um, as far as cardio, I always usually like to gravitate towards either jumping rope or skateboarding, you know. If I didn't feel like doing either of those things, then I would run. But I tried my best to not run as much as possible. I still do, especially because of the fact that I understand the toll that it takes on your body, which is something else I feel like a lot of runners don't talk to you about, is that running over time takes a huge toll on your body. You know, you're going to be... 60 years old and already needing a walker because you decided hey i want to run every day no you're better off just going for a long walk than going for a short run you know better on the joints but i digress physical forms of release that don't revolve around potentially putting yourself in harm's way right um so you could always do those things Try to find something that works for you. And then on top of that, even though it does, everything does kind of add up over time when, when you add all of it together throughout your day. But if you spread it out evenly, it at least doesn't feel like it's taking up that much of your time in your day. You know, um, like making time for prayer. You know, I pray in the morning and I pray some nights, most nights before bed. Not every night. I won't lie to you. Uh, you know, God is watching anyways. He'll know I'm lying. I can't lie about that. I uh, I pray every morning. That's a given. But uh, at night, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I won't lie about that. But I do also meditate every afternoon. I make time for meditation. And then I make time for physical activity. You know, I just got a home from a run. Con ironically. 
I know. I just was talking so much garbage about running, but I went for a run. I did, I think, like 200 push-ups, 100 crunches, 100 Russian twists, and then I went for like a 20-minute run. Nothing crazy, but uh, I'll be honest, it was more like a 10-minute run and then another 10-minute walk because I just... <sighs> um, but yeah, and so that's kind of how my day is going. That's usually kind of how my days go. Um, maybe it's rearranged a little bit given my work schedule, but yeah, and I feel like that's usually how people should go about their day, but you know, trying to find ways to make time for yourself throughout your day in order to take care of yourself, because that's what self-care is. You need to find those moments where you can care for yourself in various different ways, you know, and some days are going to be days where you feel like you don't want to do any of those things, but I would suggest that you still do something, you know, even if it's just a singular morning prayer or a singular session of meditation in the afternoon, or even if it's just making yourself a cup of tea in the afternoon before you hop back into bed, just something. Because as long as you're constantly in that state of taking care of yourself, you're in a way also holding yourself accountable, right? You're showing up for yourself. And over time, at least I believe, it'll add up to you genuinely having a stronger sense of self and a stronger caring for yourself than you would have had you not gone about doing those things. You know, uh, I can wholeheartedly say that right now I'm probably more fond of myself than I have been in the past 20 years of my life. You know, I wake up every day. I And the first thing I'm thinking of is, okay, I need to strengthen my relationship with God and I need to strengthen my relationship with myself. And I do that every single day. You know, everything else after that point it doesn't, not to say that it doesn't matter, but for lack of a better phrase, it doesn't matter because I'm in a better headspace already. I'm in a better headspace because I've already done those things to take care of myself. Um, speaking of which, another thing I forgot to add, the other forms of self-care as well that involve like uh, quality of life and, you know, nurture, I guess. I don't know. Taking care of your skin taking care of your hair, you know, I, I wake up and I also do those things, you know, I, I, I got my Mario Badescu, uh, lavender chamomile facial spray, I got, uh, my Ceravi facial daily, daily moisturizing lotion, I have, uh, this e.l.f. gentle peeling exfoliant, um, I have this Holy Hydration Toner from e.l.f. Um, and you know, the the exfoliant, I put that on maybe once a week. I use that once a week. The toner, I probably do like every night. Or every other night if I'm feeling lazy. <clears throat> I put this on every morning and every night. Uh, obviously, every time... I put anything on my face, this goes on after. And then of course, you know, I have uh, lip therapy, Vaseline chapstick, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, and of course, regular skin lotion for the rest of my body. Because like I said, you know, when you do those things, you're taking care of yourself. Not only are you, First and foremost, helping yourself to smell and look better. Who doesn't want that? You want to look good. You want to smell good. No matter who you are, no matter what you're doing, take pride in yourself, right? Um, and that's a part of what that is. And you, the, the, the better you look and smell and feel on the outside, I do believe it has an effect on how you look and feel on the inside. And over time, it's just going to lead you to being in a place where you just cannot even be really knocked down, you know, even on the days where you don't do it, you'll end up still sitting there and being like, yeah, I'm him for real, or I'm her for real, you know, I'm it for real, I don't know, whatever you, you're into, I don't really, I can't say I'm super well versed, but I can't say that I'm ignorant either, uh, you know, there's a lot out there that I'm not aware of, 
but I'm him, you know. Maybe we're all him, right? Maybe we're all him. But yeah, so self-care, you know, self-betterment, self-improvement. And if it ever helps, you know, always keeping track of what you're doing and how you're doing it, seeing what works, what doesn't, because at the end of the day, like I said, everyone's different and you need to figure out what works for you and adjust yourself around that accordingly, um, including your own work schedule, because uh, I know it's, it's rough out here in 2024. It's, it's been pretty rough. The economy is in shambles, but we can get into that another time. <laughs> uh, but for now, yeah, you know, um, also other things like making sure you're keeping up with doctor's appointments, dentist appointments, uh, something I need to do, getting haircuts. But yeah, you know, just take care of yourself. You'll feel a lot better if you do. And you'll probably be a lot better if you do. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have to say for now. This is getting kind of long. I've been rambling for quite a minute, so I'm going to cut it here. If I feel like I need to touch back on this at some point in the future, I probably will. But for now, I guess that is it. As always, if you're feeling any type of way, happy, sad, mad, glad, whatever, you can always reach out to me if you need someone to listen, if you want someone to talk to. I'll always be available through any of these social media links in my description below. As always, I'll be here 24-7, 365, because you are not alone. You're never alone. Don't forget that. And if no one ever told you today, or in the past week, you are loved, you are appreciated, and I'm proud of you. Keep going. Yeah. So with that, until next time, peace.